What is going on, Swoopers? Welcome back to another episode of Swoop Luke. In this episode, just going to be an update on AFL 23, the patches, uh, and just leading on from my video yesterday. Let's get into it. So I was out at dinner tonight and um, I saw this uh, update come through from Big Ant because I got notification turned on on Twitter. And I see this absolutely huge um, sort of page. It's a list of like different features and stuff and they're talking about the patch uh, and stuff like that. And I thought I had a read of it and I go, this is absolutely nuts. I have to do an update video leading on from my Honest Game review um, yesterday. When I say yesterday, I mean Friday. I'm recording this on Friday night. You're watching this on Saturday morning. Uh, so just sort of leading on from there. And I needed to uh, get this sort of off my chest, talk to you guys about it, get your thoughts um, and stuff like that. So what I'll do is I'll, put, I'll move over to the side. I'll put the page up here. Um, and then I will, uh, I'll just read it out. I'm going to be looking at my uh, monitor. So excuse me if I'm looking on, over on this side. But this is what it says. As previously advised, Big Ant Studios became aware of issues with the day one patch for AFL 23 in the early hours of Thursday morning, which is when it was released. This consequently led to the game not having all of the features we expected at launch. Consequently, the AFL 23 community have not had the experience we intended. We are working around the clock to rectify this situation and have released two patches so far, primarily addressing gameplay and stability issues. Another will be released today for Friday. We will now begin to roll out the following features and fixes over the next week to bring the game to the level that we expected at launch. All at Big Ants, sincerely appreciate your patience and support. So right off the bat, there is no apology in this statement for the appalling state that AFL 23 was when it launched, um, you know, and, and the uh, day one patch and all the patches that came through with it, okay? So that's really one annoying thing. This whole thing doesn't say, hey, sorry, look, you know, it's, it's not what we intended. We really do apologize. It just says, we appreciate your patience and support. People are losing losing patience, I'm telling you. And, and people are really frustrated. I'm really frustrated, right? The first thing, that was the no sorry. Now, the second thing which, which I'm going to read now is everything that wasn't included on the day one launch, right, that they're intending to include with patches. This is the most frustrating at all. Modes training and tutorials, Hall of Fame. And in my preview, uh, in my video yesterday, the reviews, I said it would be nice if they had some training and tutorials to show you how to play the game. Gameplay, in-game statistics, which you know you should have. Tactic selection, custom difficulty and adjustments. Play now, state league. So, you know, that's the VFL, the waffle, the sample. Players and coaches, updated player ratings to reflect the current performance, updating coach and player like likeliness. So that's just like sort of graphic changes and stuff like that. Still would be nice because obviously we got that weird ass Fly McRae um, in, in the Collingwood um, uh, corner time huddles. Ward is close in a lot of areas on the stat sheet as well. There's nothing that really suggests... Season, custom competitions, state league selections, state league finals fixtures, online, custom match, cross-play, leaderboards, the academy, which is where you can create all your players and stuff, logo creator, jersey creator, editor, quick codes. The much-anticipated pro team mode is still to come. We will be able to share this process, uh, share more on this soon. Now, looking at this list here, does that not look like 50% of the game is missing? I pay $80 for 50% of a game that didn't even work when I installed it after five hours of installation. How annoying and how frustrating is that for so many people? People are playing online now, game still crashes. You can run from the f from full back to full forward, kick a goal. Um, you play in the, the season competition, game crashes. Management mode, game crashes. AI is still absolutely dumb even though they've patched it. Um, and now look at this, training and tutorials, uh, in-game statistics, state leagues, all these things that were promised, how is that not on the release of this game? It is absolutely mind-boggling that this is a huge game, right? Don't get me wrong, it's not a 2K, it's not EA, they haven't got trillions of dollars going into it, and they haven't built this up for 30, 20 or 30 years, however long EA's been doing their, their sort of thing for, right? I understand that, I get it. I get that they're a small to medium or, or medium-sized um, Australian company, and I get that, and I get it so hard, right? I'm very sympathetic to the fact that it is so hard to, to not only make a game in Australia but make a game about Australian rules football I understand I get it but 
do not release a game that has 50% of the things missing, pro team that everyone loves missing, right? Um, In-game statistics, uh, training and tutorials, like how to tackle, money. it's not even in, you can't just find it anywhere. You have to, you know, go through the, the, um, uh, the controllers and, and stuff like that. Um, I'll just move back here. How, how are we paying 80 to 100 dollars for a game with all these missing things? It is absolutely ridiculous and I'm, I'm so frustrated. Like, it, it's, it's frustrating because I would have preferred them to say, and I think I said this in my previous video, I would have preferred them to say, hey look, we said it's going to be on April 13th or whatever the hell it was going to be, that this game, we're aiming for, for more um, winter. 2020 2023 because that way you know and we're going to be open and honest with you we still haven't got this 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 and this um for when the day one launches if we were to launch it in two weeks right so look accept our sincere apologies when it when it does launch we'll give everyone two gold packs for pro team or whatever they're going to do something like that is way better pr for a company than saying hey here's a game oh it doesn't work let us do a day one patch. Oh, that day one patch doesn't work. Let us do four more patches in the next um, 48 hours. Oh, by the way, uh, training and tutorials, you can't play uh, VFL or, or, or SA NFL. Tactic selections, you can't do on the fly. O online matches don't work. There's no pro teams. You can't do a custom competition. Um, and updated coaches and player lockiness uh, isn't there. To me, that is just so pathetic, honestly. And I know you're probably going to we'll be watching this um, and thinking, oh, Luke, that's that's way too harsh. Uh, or people who aren't even aware of the Sweet Blue channel and they're just watching this for AFL 23, you're probably going, oh, dude, that's so harsh. Like, why, why would you? They're trying, they're trying, and I get that. Like I said, I'm very sympathetic towards their cause. I get it. But you cannot tell me that it's like getting a, it's like, buy, I know this is a, a different sort of analogy, but it's like buying a car, right, out of the showroom, ten, let's just say $10,000, right, brand new car, oh, Oh yeah, sorry. Let's we got to get the engine because the engine's not um, really working. When you go forward, it goes into reverse. And then say, oh, by the way, you know those back seats that you wanted uh, and that we promised? They're not in the car yet. Uh, in about two weeks, we'll, we'll take the car back and we'll put those back seats in for you. If you buy something, you want it at a hundred percent. The only thing that you buy that's not a hundred percent done is pre-packaged cake mix. So then you can make it at home. That's understandable. A taco season, a taco seasoning kit where you um, get that pre-packaged, then you make it at home. That, understandable. This isn't a taco seasoning kit. This isn't a pre-mixed Betty Crocker Devil's Food uh, cake mix, which is, you know, the Devil's Food chocolate cake mix, which is the best um, chocolate cake mix that you can buy on the market. I highly recommend you get that. That isn't that. This is a game that's been promised for so long and we were sold the world and got absolutely nothing. It's just really, really frustrating. Um, but look, and in saying all that, hopefully in the next two weeks, there's going to be so many patches that it does become a, a playable game. And look, I'm saying this and I'm frustrated. I'm venting my frustrations. But yes, I'm going to do management mode and, and stuff like that because I enjoy it. I, I love that sort of stuff and I love getting this content out to you. But it doesn't separate from the fact that this is still absolutely so stupid that they released a game that is 50% complete. It just... It's just mind boggling. It's just absolutely mind boggling. But look guys, this has just been, I just needed to get this off my chest. Leave your thoughts and comments down below on this update. But until then, like, comment, subscribe. Tay family, tay friends, tay pets. And until next time, double shakers. I'll sweep you later.